In the bustling streets of the city that never sleeps, a spectacular sensation is rising. The city is popular for its resilience and is often referred to as a city where ambition meets innovation and dreams reach new heights. In this same city, legends and icons have been born, numerous stories have been told, and it's a place where dreams take flight with soaring buildings. Welcome to New York City, the concrete jungle where dreams are made and where something truly amazing is about to take root. In this video, we'll take a look inside the enthralling world of the Brooklyn Tower, a $750 million masterpiece that's altering the city skyline. You may be wondering, what's the buzz about this skyscraper? Well, it's not just about its towering presence, it's about what lies within, the stories it will tell, and the experience it promises to offer. The Brooklyn Tower sits on a triangular city block, surrounded by Fleet Street to the northwest, DeKalb Avenue to the south, and Flatbush Avenue extension to the northeast. On one corner, there's a nice little spot for pedestrians at Albee Square. The Brooklyn Tower wraps around a building on 33 DeKalb Avenue. This place covers about 46,367 square feet, with a frontage of 219.92 feet on Flatbush Avenue and a depth of 380.8 feet from Flatbush Avenue to Fleet Street. It's close to other tall buildings like City Point, with its three towers just to the west and one Willoughby Square a block away. Over the road, you'll find the campus of LIU Brooklyn and the Brooklyn Paramount Theater. The building is right across from the entrance to the DeKalb Avenue subway station for the B, Q, and R trains. The Brooklyn Tower is pretty tall. It even beat out the previous tallest buildings in Brooklyn, Brooklyn Point, and 11 Hoyt when it reached a height of 721 feet in July 2021. It's about 350 taller than Brooklyn Point, which was the second tallest building in Brooklyn in 2022. When it comes to accessing the skyscraper, you need not worry because there are about 13 subway lines, 22 city bike stations, and 11 commuter trains from the Long Island Railroad's Atlantic Center Station available for you to use. So, the choice is yours to make. For the features of the Brooklyn Tower, Trust me, you are not ready for what it possesses. They are mind-blowing. The tower is over a thousand feet high and it also features 93 stories. The residential units will feature an estimated 550 residential units. 150 out of these 550 units will be sold to the lucky buyers while 400 will remain for rentals. That's not all, the tower will also include 100,000 square feet of space for retail purposes, and it will be located at the base of the tower, in addition to the Dime Savings Bank of Brooklyn. Yes, you heard that right. As you may already know, the Dime Savings Bank building was constructed between 1906 and 1908. It served as the Dime Savings Bank's main branch for more than a hundred years, in 1931-1932, it was expanded by Halsey, McCormack, and Helmer. However, in 2014, the bank was sold, and in 2018, the construction of the Brooklyn Tower commenced in addition to the Dime Savings Bank building. This simply means that the bank has been incorporated into the tower and is currently undergoing renovations, which will turn it into a flagship retail space. The tower will have over 120,000 square feet of modern indoor and outdoor facilities, like gyms and such. There are two ways in for folks living there, one on Fleet Street and one on Flatbush Avenue Extension. People can start living in the fancy condos from the 53rd floor, which is higher up than most Brooklyn penthouses. Perhaps the most interesting part of the Brooklyn Tower is everything about its design and the materials that were used to make it a reality. The design was inspired by the old shapes of downtown Brooklyn and the hexagon style of the Dime Savings Bank. The tiles on the floor have beautiful hexagon patterns, just like those inside the bank. These hexagons fit together like puzzle pieces. And don't miss the dimes on the elevator hall ceiling reminding us that people used to open bank accounts with just a dime. 
The walls in the lobby are made of warm white oak, and they match the new tower's fancy design. Come check it out! The outside of the tower has shapes like lines and triangles that go up and down, and they used glass in black, copper, and gold colors. The shapes change in size as you go around the tower, and the colors go from bronze to black. At the bottom of the tower, there's white marble, and as you go up, it turns into black steel and bronze and copper colors. It's like a fancy, color-changing tower. When you enter through the Fleet Street entrance, it feels like discovering another kind of beauty. They preserved some of the old bank's marble columns, and there's a large hall with a complex design on the walls resembling the exterior of the tower. The floor has a hexagon shape, similar to the bank's layout. The interior of the tower is adorned with wood, bronze, and special furniture. Stepping inside, you'll sense history unfolding right before your eyes. The units also feature brass sconces and stylish black granite doorways. The kitchens are equipped with bronze accents and boast top-of-the-line Mealy appliances, encompassing refrigerators, dishwashers, ovens, and washer-dryers. Additionally, the kitchen areas showcase a blend of black and bronze cabinetry with marble or black granite countertops, creating a sleek and handleless design to accentuate the open-plan layout. In the bathrooms, you'll find stunning hexagonal floor tiles and walls clad in marble, enhanced by the soft glow of glass sconces adorning the medicine cabinets. The tower also has a special place for having fun. It's the dome pool and terrace, up there on the rooftop, you'll find three swimming pools that circle the bank's fancy Guastavino Dome. There's a long pool for grown-ups, a pool for kids with a bubbly hot tub, a fire pit, a place to eat, comfy chairs, cozy hammocks, a barbecue grill, and even outdoor showers on this terrace. One would think that's all the skyscraper has to offer, but here's the twist. There's a two-level lounge near the pool with a bar for tasty drinks, a modern gym, a cinema for movies, a kitchen for chefs, a private dining spot, a place to play billiards, and a library where you can work together. Plus, there's a room for meetings and another for private meetings. A step up to the 66th floor, you'll discover the Sky Park with the tallest basketball court hanging in the air. There's also the world's highest dog run, a fun playground for kids, and a foosball court. The Sky Lounge on the 85th floor is the most captivating part of the tower. Visitors can see New York's harbor, the cityscape of Manhattan, and Brooklyn from there. It's an open-air place where visitors can dine, relax, have drinks, and even get warmed up by the outdoor fireplace. For those who want to stay fit, the Lifetime Athletic Club has them covered. It's there to make sure everyone is healthy and happy, right in the heart of the Brooklyn Tower. While we still admire the beauty, which is the Brooklyn Tower, it is also important that we give some credit to those who brought this marvel to life. The tower was crafted by Shop Architects, a US-based design firm that is known for always delivering quality work that sets the pace for others to follow. Aside from Shop Architects, a collection of highly skilled contractors pooled their intellectual prowess to transform the Brooklyn Tower from a mere vision into a tangible reality. While there are some final touches left to be completed, the assurance is that the tower will be fully constructed by the year 2024. Despite all this, the skyscraper is already making waves. On September 3rd, recognized as World Skyscraper Day, readers of Dezine picked the Brooklyn Tower by Shop Architects as the top skyscraper in recent memory. Out of more than 1,000 votes, the Brooklyn Tower in New York City stood out, with over 30% of voters giving it their nod in the poll. Those who left comments had positive things to say about the skyscraper, with one person calling it one of the most beautiful new additions to New York's skyline in a long time, and another person described it as truly unique and distinctive. Do you think the Brooklyn Tower stands a chance to become one of the world's best skyscrapers? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. See you in our next video, and thanks for watching.